Hi, this is Lee Griffiths. Stay tuned for all the cup final news on Hibernian TV. Lee, let's start off by talking about the Footballer of the Year award that you won on Sunday night in Glasgow. The last recipient from Hibs was Pat Stanton back in well, 43 years ago, so that must have been a great accolade for you. Yeah, it was. Um, to think that other Hibs players that I've, I've played in the green and white and now haven't been able to, to collect that award, it's, it's something that I was very honoured to get. And how does that rank up alongside all the other accolades that you've received so far this season? Yeah, I mean, I looked at all, there were about three screens last night, um, showing you all the, the recent winners, and she looked at Paul Gascoigne, Brian Loisop, Heinrich Larson, all the legends in their own right, their own club, and I was the, I was very honoured. Obviously a massive week ahead, uh, it was obviously a year ago since we were last at Hamden for a major cup final, what's changed here at Hibs, do you feel, in the, in the last year? Yeah, um, I think we've got a better team spirit, um, there's a few players that didn't know how much it meant to to me and the other Hibs fan that, that travelled through to Hamden last year. Um, we've got humility, but we've got a chance to rectify that 12 months on and, and hopefully we can. As a player, do you use that type of disappointment to, to motivate you, to fuel you on? Because obviously you were originally turned away from Hibs, weren't you, as a 14-year-old. Did you use that disappointment then to kick on with Livingston and everything like that? Or how do you how do you view setbacks? Yeah, I think we, we um, try to put that right the first time we play touch. Um, especially, well, especially in the cup year, but um, the first time we came out and we were in it and we got drawn against Hearts, so we knew if we put them out we'd have a, ma a massive chance to get get to the final again. And, um, we've beat another um, three SPL teams on the way and, and hopefully we can beat a fourth and collect the cup on Sunday. So you scored the winner when we played Celtic here at Easter Road in late December. To what extent do you feel that will give us a bit of a psychological boost going into this one? Because they are certainly beatable, aren't they? Yeah, they're beatable, but... Um, I was hoping that we could try and beat them at the Parkhead and um, go into the final that no one will beat them twice. It wasn't to be, but um, we're on the same level of points as um, going head to head, and we know it's going to be a hard game. And um, if both teams play um, to their capabilities, everybody should be in for a cracking game.